Guys, we're at New England RV Roof. That's RVRoof.com. Got up at 4 a.m. so I could grab the Kenworth and the transporter and was here by 6.30 a.m. It's in Plainfield, Massachusetts. It's 10.30 a.m. and they're well underway. They got five guys working on it, so they jumped right on it. What we're doing is installing a brand new Flex Armor roof on the transporter. Now, if you follow the channel, you know how important this is to me. This has been a major two-year investment uh, of time and a whole bunch of money. And the most important way to protect your investment when it comes to an RV, like this quarter million, $300,000 Dutch Star dual diesel pusher, or a uh, transporter like ours, or something a little more common like this Class C, or the Jayco, or any of these other ones out here that are waiting to get done, is the roof. Why? Well, these are made out of wood. There's a lot of wood inside these campers, and fiberglass, and all kinds of electronics and the last thing you want is them to leak and the, what the factories put on there is insufficient and destined to fail in fact i was talking to one of our mechanics dean and he said you know i've never had a trailer through the shop in the last three years that didn't have a leak somewhere so they all leak and the new ones are prone to leaking too because they just slap them together at the factory I did some research and i talked to the best people in the industry if you have, if you know Grand Design, they're like one of the bigger companies. Lifelong RV mechanic, Mark DeCandia, second generation, considered to be the RV whisperer. He's like he's like the guy that Grand Design sell, sends to all over the country to fix stuff that no one else can fix. I called him and asked him and said, what's the best thing that I can do on this transporter? I only want to do it once. And he said, beyond the shot of a doubt, flex armor. I asked a bunch of different floor, um, forums the DRV form, the high-end fifth wheels, everybody pointed to Flex Armor. This is a franchise, Flex Armor. This is the only one in the Northeast, Plainville, Mass. Definitely worth taking a trip over here. Jim and his son run this operation. It's family owned and operated. They've got a phenomenal reputation in their work. They do a second to none. Okay, so what are we talking about here? I'm from the Show Me State. I gotta see something to believe it. If you see something, say something. And this is what they put on the roof of some of those RVs out front. It's basically, like cheesy sort of waterproof cardboard. That's one method. Then they have this, they put this on literally quarter million dollar, half million dollar coaches. It's called EPDM. It's basically a skinny little inner tube that, so some people buy a new RV and say, I got a new RV, I don't need to worry about it. Oh, you need to worry about it because these things are 13 feet tall, which means you're gonna hit a lot of sticks and trees going in and out of the campgrounds. And this is what you got protecting the roof of your RV, and it's no good. I'm gonna, Jim, how you doing today? I'm doing fine. J Jim was here at 6 30 a.m. sharp. So He's imagine this is a branch. Got a hole right through it. Holes that are so. Look at this. That's the roof on your RV. Now, a stick or uh, anything, a piece of metal flying off the back of a car going right through it. There's another one, TPO vinyl. That's a, a little different than the EPM. Same thing, worthless. Now, on a roof of an RV, th it, th this roofing is going to be wrapped around a lot of uh, openings and areas where water could definitely penetrate. Even if there, it wasn't torn, it could just be a, a, a bad seal. Guys, this is the Flex Armor roofing. It has a 3,500 PSI tear strength. And I'm pushing like hell. 3,500 pounds per square inch. Let me tell you something. Concrete pavers have a 3,500 PSI tear strength. That, that's stronger than asphalt yeah. Asphalt in the street that yeah. has about a 3,000 PSI. Yeah. And now even better yet, when your RV is going down the road and it's twisting and turning and, and moving around, it has a, is it 800%? or 600% elongation. 600% elongation, which means it can go... So what that means, the 600% tear strength means this one inch segment right here could stretch out to six inches before it rips. Jim and I were talking earlier about actually trying to, we, we probably won't do it today, but we're going to take a, a, a 22 long rifle and a 40 Magnum and maybe a shotgun. And we, we, we think we think it's actually bulletproof. Probably. And we're going to find that out too. So that's what you want on the roof of your investment. Guys, I had Dean when we took the roof off the stacker. Now, why are we changing the roof on it? Well, this is what it was originally. Half inch OSB, which is like a particle board. And it's very, very prone to soaking up water, number one. But number two, we have we just put an observation tower up on the top. So we'll have an awning up there when we're at the races. We can watch the races or hang out on the roof of the unit along with the hatch. I'll bring up there in a second to show that to you. But this is half inch and that's 
what the roof was. It's a fiberglass, uh, hard fiberglass, prone to cracking and leaking, and it has to be replaced like every, I think it has a 10 or 15 year lifespan max. But you can see it's pretty thin. This is the wood we replaced it with. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to see. There's nine layers. This is marine grade Akumo. It's uh, a marine grade plywood. They make boats out of this. I've seen tests where they've left this outside for 30 years in a backyard and it still doesn't delaminate. I've seen another test where they put it underwater for three years and it didn't fall apart. This will fall apart overnight if you put it in water. It'll soak it up like a sponge. So in addition to upgrading to that, this is what the flex armor looks like. Take a look at this. Look at how much thicker that is. It's, um, you, you can't even compare the two. It's much, much, much harder. It's almost a bulletproof 3,500 pound square inch. You can't stick a knife through it. We're pretty sure a bullet will bounce off of it. And now that's a permanent solution. If you compare that to the original, um, it's light years better. The, the wood is a lot stiffer, so when you walk on it, it's not gonna bounce up and down. And it's, if, if, if it ever did get any condensation under there, it won't billow out. And this is, and this is completely 100% permanently waterproof. Guys, this is a major, major investment, this transporter. And trust me when I tell you, I've got a little bit of OCD along with the ABCDs and the ADDs and all that. And I researched the hell out of, out of Every option known to man, including aluminum roofs, fiberglass roofs, everything you could possibly think of doing on there. And beyond the shadow of a doubt, the Flex Armor is the best solution. That's why I'm here, because gave a couple of bucks and uh, a, a temporary solution. This is a permanent solution for a permanent problem anymore. Now, with the, R, with the Flex Armor roof, you get a lifetime warranty, which is unheard of in this industry, a lifetime warranty. And I asked him, I said, do you have, any, have you had any warranty claims? And he goes, yeah. This one right here. And I said, well, what's wrong with it? He's replacing the front half of the roof, the wood underneath it, which is a major, major project. And I said, what happened? He goes, well, the um, aluminum wine guard TV antenna decayed because it's 15 years old and it caused it to leak. So the roof didn't really fail. Now, if this was a corporate business and most people would point the finger at the client and say, hey, your antenna decayed. No. Jim did it under warranty. That's the kind of people you're dealing with. You're de and you can't, now this guy's gonna be a, a client for life, I'm sure, but I told you guys, I researched a lot in the forums, right? Like I, like I, I beat this thing to death, Christy could tell you. I watched, a whole, I watched every video on their channel. I watched every video I could find out about it. A bunch of independent YouTubers did reviews. Uh, people that spent their own hard earned money. And uh, unanimously, this was the best solution that's why I'm here. I also, when I was on one of the forums, I heard about there was a tornado in Texas where in an RV park and a bunch of RVs got destroyed. One particular RV had the flex armor roof on it and the RV was completely destroyed. The only thing left that they could found was the roof and the entire roof was intact um, and still in good condition. Why? Because it's freaking indestructible 3500 psi which is stronger than tar stronger as strong as this concrete it's almost bulletproof but better than the a tar or concrete or a metal solution it'll stretch 600 percent which means you can fold it it can get bent you can step on it the other thing when i was at the show because I, I was still doing my research and i i met jim at one of the, the rv shows and he had a rv Skylight, just like this one that he took off and replaced with a new one. It's made out of plastic. And he goes, but he had covered it with flex armor. And he goes, jump up and down on it. I go, dude, I'm 250 pounds, man. He goes, I've had 350 pound guys jump up on it. I jumped up and down and it didn't crack. And he's going to pull it out of the show. So I'm going to show you that. Now, I'll jump up and down on this and it'll smash to smithereens and, and you know, with probably 50 pounds force. So they'll even spray the roof armor on top of your existing skylights and they'll be bulletproof literally guys this isn't a new product it's been around for 16 years so they know what works it's been through a few different revisions of the product but it's called polyurea which if that rings a bell well your raptor bed liner is made of a hybrid polyurea the, the reason why you can't use a bed liner substance on the roof of an rv is because it's designed to be on a hard 
surface like metal that's been scratched so it'll stick. And I can tell you this, my brand new Ford, the 2016 pickup, it's already cracked and it's already peeling. The bedliner doesn't have that 500% stretch factor where it can stretch five inches before it breaks. Polyuria is the best. This is pure polyuria. There's nothing better. Guys, let's say you have a, a, a skylight on there or like this one here it, that had a failed antenna that, that, that rotted because it's 15 years old. You gotta bring it back to one of 34 service centers. They're, they're nationwide up here in New England. You go to RV Roof of New England, see Jim and his family, they'll take care of you. The best part about the Flex Armor is it's totally repairable. If your skylight fails and you need to replace it, bring it here, go pop out your old skylight, put a new one in. If it's a 14 inch skylight, they'll spray a 20 inch perimeter around it and it'll be perfect, like brand new. It's a forever solution. You do it once and you know what? It's priced right, they're very affordable. What you're getting is, is a lifetime solution, a lifetime warranty installed by people that, this is all they do. This isn't an RV place that, that does a little bit of everything. It has a bunch of high school kids working there for minimum wage. These are trained professionals that only do RV roofing and they do it right. Now, obviously you look around the scaffolding, brand new building, fit three tractor trailers in here. There's, I saw some people, I almost call, called one, actually I called one of them and talked to them before I came here, that will come to your place and do a roll-on rubber roofing that uh, they put on with, with rollers. The problem with doing it outside is you can't control the environment and that product is not polyurea. It's something else, they sell it, it's like $500 to five gallons and it's just not the same. Yeah. That, that is a EPDM rub on, a roll on rubber coating, which yeah. is basically the same thing you got right here and you can stick a knife right through it. It's not bulletproof polyurea. So don't compare apples with apples and think that the roll on um, roof that they can do at the hood um, is good because it's it, it's not it's, be, it's better than nothing. But if you can do it right, do it once. Yeah. Do flex armor. That's why I'm here. So how does it, how does this magic happen here? Here's here's the magic. It's a reactor HXP2. What this does, made in America, is it mixes these 50 gallon drums of the glue with the 50 gallon drums of the, the polyurea at 160 degrees. So it heats it up. And this line that it goes through that you see up here, that's heated at 160 degrees. Now, it, it also pushes this at 3,500 PSI. That's a lot of pressure. That's why this unit is a six-figure investment for this kind of setup here. They don't give these away. This is, this is a commercial-grade solution. And one of the best parts about the, the um, Flex Armor in, in uh, comparison to one of those roll-on liners is they can go ahead and spray the, the whole, spray the roof and six seconds later, go up and do a second coat where pretty much any other product, you gotta wait a whole day for it to, to, to cure. So it's it's uh, pretty amazing stuff. Guys, this product comes out of the gun gray. Six seconds later, you can walk on it. And while it's still hot to the touch, they pull the tape off the edges and they paint it. The special paint, a polymer latex paint, that chemically bonds with the polyurea so it'll never peel off, it'll never flake, and it's a permanent solution. 90% of the roofs they do, they do in a bright white because it reflects the, the sun, but they also, like on this one here, if you got a fancy coach like this and you want to paint the drip edge black, we might end up doing it on mine if, if the white sticks out too much, but they'll paint the drip edge black and also custom match your custom paint job so that the black ends there, so it looks like the paint job goes up onto the roof. Fantastic. Guys, they've done a bunch of NASCAR haulers with this product, where people are up on the roof watching the races constantly, all the time, and the wear factor is incredible. Yeah. Now here's, this is the, the thing I was gonna tell you about. This is a normal RV plastic skylight. Normally, and we're gonna show you next, how when you step on one, it crushes. This has been jumped up and down by, by 50,000 people at every RV show they've been at across the country and it never cracked. He said he had a 350 pound guy in it. It's unbelievable. Now, he also said they sell the paint, so if you want to touch up your paint on the roof after it gets a little ratty from tons of people walking on it, if you use it at the, at, at the races, you can actually repaint it and, and it will stick to it perfectly. Guys, check it out. Look at this. Look at it, do it again, do it again. It's like, it's garbage. Now, same thing over here. Flex armor. You're not gonna break it, guys. They've had 350 pound football players on here. But a, a child could have fallen through this one. Yep. And, and that's the difference, man. Right there. Proof in the pudding.
I'm from the show me state. What does that do? It makes your roof 3,500 PSI bulletproof. It's pretty much tear proof, bulletproof. Well, I don't know about nuclear war, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this would be the only thing left to your RV if there was one. Guys, there's a video out there where they actually take an arrow, a bow and arrow, and shoot it at it and it bounces off. Um, so the next step is we're gonna break out the gun. I left my 357 at home because this is Massachusetts and I don't wanna get arrested. I literally took it out of my briefcase today, out of my uh, gym bag, I had my 357 there, but these, unbelievable. Guys, I'm 250 pounds, man. Unfreaking believable. Look at this, it's absolutely freaking bulletproof. <laughs> like any good job, the magic is in the preparation and they've been up here for hours getting this thing ready. What they're doing is they're sanding down any of the exposed metal and also the metal edging right here so that it'll bite. You see that? That's um that's what they do. And this is a brand new wood roof here that we did ourselves, uh, our team. And the roof being wood, they put a special primer on there because think about it, when all wood has a little moisture in it. And when this stuff comes out of this tube here at 160 degrees, well, it's gonna cause the moisture to rise out and it won't stick. So the primer seals the moisture in and it makes sure that the uh, flex armor sticks forever. This rig's a monster. It's 55.5 feet to the step in the front here. With the bump out, a, a normal tractor chill is 53 feet. This thing's huge. So. On the far end in the back there, we have these eight of these. These are made by my friend. We call him the Mad Scientist. He's awesome. My, one of my favorite people on the planet ever. He's a machinist, world-class guy. And these are to hold the, the, the four legs of the awning that go up here. There's a six by six awning. You know, you just heard the easy up awning. It's just a better commercial one. And this will all be covered with flex armor. And there's a little hole in here for a pin. So you put the awning leg over here and put the pin on there so it doesn't fly away. We've got the whole drip edge prepared here. We thought about bringing the flex armor down to here, but uh, Christy and I, everybody agreed that one, it was a ridiculous amount of work polishing this aluminum like chrome all the way around here. But two, this is gonna frame out the wrap really nice. The, the wrap is gonna be predominantly black and red with a white and blue stripe in the middle. So, doesn't make the magic happen. That's the uh, new stainless steel marine hat. It's actually, they put them on ships. Um, it's actually designed by a company called Manship. And uh, it's all stainless steel. The um, trim ring, the entire hatch is completely stainless steel. And because it was designed for a boat, it's more expensive than an RV product, but it, it'll be permanently waterproof. And that's what we wanted here. We wanted this thing waterproof. And it's only as good as the weakest link, right? So the front's all wrapped in stainless here. This is the door to get, there's two doors access. So this is the door to the living quarters right here. And there's a door in the back of the sleeper on the tractor trailer that you saw earlier. So it's, access into the living quarters. And then of course the shop is in the back. The back, there, there's 64 foot of garage space, 32 foot on two levels. And then there's really five levels of this trailer. Um, there's a lower access room right down there that's got an ATV and all of the, here it is right here. This is this room right here. You see the hinge, that door flips up right there. That's for, an, for, you put an ATV in there and it has all the water tanks and the fuel tanks and the batteries and everything else. Uh, that's the lower level. And then you've got the first floor of the garage. Then you got the living quarters, so that's the third level. Then you got the second floor of the garage, which is the fourth level. And then you got the, the roof here, which is absolutely gonna be the fifth level and uh, capable of walking on without having any issues now that we went to a three quarter inch marine grade plywood and the best roofing system money can buy so if you don't already know the unit was built by cobracoaches.com uh chuck hebbing the owner and founder of cobra coaches has been a long time 